Campers, it's Kim Vogel here for another Terrific Tuesday video and today I want to share with you a really cute card that I created using the Accented Blooms stamp set and this stamp set is in our current catalog for $20, a really good value. What I like about this stamp set is it also has a coordinating punch to punch out this these two sentiments. Now that punch was available in our occasions catalog and it went with the tailored um, gentleman suite. So you may already have that but if not you can buy it separately. I believe that punch is $18 and I love that it kind of goes together. The whole coordination makes this um, um, stamp set and that punch so amazing. Um, the card I'm going to share with you today, um, I use one of our new colors. I'm um, not new in colors but a new color to our collection and this color is called Highland Heather and it is slowly becoming one of my really favorite um, purples because it is so bright and so vibrant and I love the fact that it just makes it with this when it's paired with black it just makes that pop right out. So I'm also going to be showing you um, the pretty little um, basket weaving embossing folder that I used. Now this embossing folder was actually a celebration item during celebration last um, spring and it was one of the items that Stampin' Up! announced to us that they were going to be um, bringing out in our annual catalog and I love that they did that because it gives us a little bit more time to play with it as demonstrators. It is called Basket Weave and that embossing folder is $9. It's one of our more um, textured impressions embossing folders so it's it's got a little bit more detail to it and it gives you more of a 3d effect and I love it love it so I'm going to share with you how I created this card and I did a lot of the work for this one in advance just because I wanted to save some time um, in my video today so I have a piece of the um, Highland Heather cardstock. This is cut five and a half by eight and a half. And what I did is I embossed this in advance. So all you're going to do is put this piece. I did score this because you want to make sure that you only emboss the one part of this. You don't want to get it over the other line and it's easier to wrap around. So let me get my embossing folder and show you exactly how I did that sandwich when I put it through the big shot. Here is the embossing folder and so what I did is I placed the piece of cardstock on top of the folder and then I put this one down and I put the back of the card on the back. So from there I ran this through the big shot and it will emboss just the front of that and you have a really pretty texture to the entire front of your card. Pretty simple and it adds a lot of texture to it. From there I have a piece of basic black cardstock. Now I'm not sure the measurement on this, but in the description of this video will be a link to my blog post and I will have all of the measurements there for you. And, from, and then I um, also cut a piece of the um, Highland Heather cardstock. In advance I heat embossed with the black embossing powder the main image from the Accented Blooms um, stamp set. So I heat embossed this one and then I, I, I adhered this down to the top area of this basic black. Now you're going to notice that I have a little bit of extra black here on the bottom and I did that on purpose because I wanted to tie in some white and that's where I did the baker's twine here at the bottom. So let me adhere this to the basic black piece and then I'm going to show you how I adhered that um, baker's twine. I think you're going to like my little tip and trick on that as well. I always look for the easy way of doing something because it's really hard for a lot of my customers to tie something around and then tie it in a knot. I have one friend, Melissa, who's phenomenal at that, but I can't do it either. And so I always look for ways that are a little bit easier. So what I do is I'm going to add a little bit of adhesive to the back of this card. And that is where I'm going to start with my um, Whisper White Baker's Twine. And I'm going to stick that down there on the back. And then I am just going to wrap this around here twice. And each time I go to the back, I'm making sure I secure that down. So I'm, again, doing this twice and securing it down. And I want to make sure I push that down really, really good. From there, I'm going to go ahead and cut it. And now I need to add my bow to it. So what I do is I just simply add a bow to um, that with a glue dot. So I'm going to tie a bow. Um, and again, this has taken me a little bit of time to master. But I'm going to tie a bow here. Ta-da! Making sure I get it straight. And then I wanted these to be a little bit longer. Let me bring my sample back in. You can see that I left the tails on there just a little bit longer. And so I'm going to do that here on this one as well. Tie that, cut that off. 
And then with a glue dot, I am going to adhere this bow down to my piece of black right down there. Look at how cute that is. And then I adhered this entire piece onto my card with some Stampin' Dimensionals. So let me get my dimensionals here. Um, if you haven't joined my mailing list yet, I encourage you to do so. Um, check me out at kimsbasementbunch.com. Um, there's also a link in the description of this video for joining my mailing list. And I also um, have a Facebook page that I do Facebook Lives. Um, those are I'm also starting to put out on Facebook for any of you to watch as well. But I always have some kind of an ordering promotion during my Facebook Lives on Thursday. And usually the ordering part of the promotion is you always get the make or the make and takes or the projects that I'm showcasing free with an order. So I encourage you to consider joining my Facebook group for my Touch Base Thursdays. So from there, I'm going to adhere this down like that. And then I'm going to also use with some dimensionals, I'm going to adhere my thank you. Now this I did in advance. I simply stamped the thank you and I'm going to put some stampin' dimensionals on there as well. Let me bring this up so you guys can see it. And so that's going to go on here like this. And voila, you have a beautiful card. Now I also did... Um, I uh, put some of the little basic accent pearls, or not pearls, basic accent sequins on there as well, just to add a little bit more of a sentiment to the card and give it a little bit more sparkle. Um, and I couldn't find those in my stash of embellishments to, to put on this card for you today, but isn't that pretty? I love the black and the purple together. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So thank you all for stopping today, and thank you for watching my video, and I look forward to seeing you back next week. Have a great day.